I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in like a month. You were just there a couple days ago. I know, I just... I don't know. China's slowly starting to pick back up. Alan Osborne, one year today I quit smoking. Congrats, Alan. Congratulations, Alan, you son of a bitch. Happy anniversary. Oh, Jesus. shoo ba ba boo and Jason shaved his face. Oh my god, he's definitely he's never getting laid now. <sighs> you should have kept that face with her, Jason. You fucked yourself. It's over Bitches for you. Bitches love a beard, sir. It's over for you. It's gonna take you another ten years to grow that fucking peach fuzz on your face. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What's up, Nikki? Hello, Michael Whitehair. Doom, doom, doom. You too, Mark. Listen here, Michael. Are you yawning? We did, did we, did you just, just yawned too. But I yawned before okay, he went live. Maybe my yawn doesn't mean I'm tired. Maybe my body just needed some oxygen. Your brain needs more than oxygen. I can't believe you're fucking, you're yawning already. This shit just I'm started. I'm tired. It was just a, my Jesus. body needed something. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Let the homosexual activity begin. That sounds, that sounds homophobic, actually. But thank you. Anywho, what's going on? Uh, where's my mod at? Right there, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, I gotta get batteries. God damn it. <sighs> I know. So yeah, the the Monday I did, where I was talking about how Angela's top side took a fucking shit. I found three of them, brand brand new. I think you opened the package. No, I, I never saw. I never saw that one with the weird buttons on it. You had to have opened that package when Amy sent it and never showed them to me. I never saw that. There's the DNA version, untouched. I didn't even know these were here. I never saw this black one. Scoot over. She got that five ten on that bitch. Woo wee. Anyways, yeah, she so got you, fucking three okay, of them. Okay, so you opened the package, never showed them. I didn't them open to the me. package. You had to have because I've never seen that mod. I never saw you that black see mod. You did see it. No, because I remember grabbing it, saying, "Well." This would be the last one you use because this one's like a collectible right here. I think this is only one of one. You never told me that. Yes. No. I did tell you. You don't remember. You don't fucking remember. Um, anyways, she's got enough to last her till she's in the ground. Speaking of in the ground, let's say what's up to all the folks that are probably prefer to be in the ground than watching this show tonight. Like Adam. What's up, Adam? Adam Eisner's in the house. We got Alan. Congratulations on one year, you son of a bitch. The lovely Billy Lee. We got Brian. Dylan, you piece of shit. Cannon Vapor. We got Craig D. The D stands for Dick because he loves it. Daniel's in the house. Jack the Flash. Jason, who he ain't getting laid, definitely. Uh, Jennifer, what's going on? Jesus. We got Joe. We got Joshua. The picture that Jason has, his little thing right there, looks like Eric. Whoa. Whoa. That's a picture of him in high school. He's like 75 years old now. JT Von Bass, how you doing, sir? Night Clover, what's going on? Marcus, you fucking son of a bitch. We just dropped you off at your friend's house. What are you doing in chat? Misfit Steve, Nathan, Neil Pitts. I say we. Well, I you. just dropped him off. The lovely Nikki, what's up? Rob, Rob's here, holy shit. Ron Jeremy, hanging low as always. What's up, Ron? Seth, VaporX, myself, because I have to be here. Vizzy or Ma, which you know damn well he's drinking White Claws tonight, that son of a bitch. Wicked, what's going on? That. Michael Whitehair is still kicking, and whoever else didn't make the list, don't blame me, blame you two. The boy has his first job interview tomorrow. Yep, working in a whorehouse. <laughs> nice top, it takes years off and makes you look thinner. Well, he's oh, just... Thank you so much, sir. He's kissing ass. <laughs> Break out the hot dog water. So... I know Mark had mentioned that we were going to be doing, like, a different show on, like, Wednesday or something, or maybe, like, a pre-recorded thing, or we weren't sure. We were going to do it Wednesday, and then we decided we're just going to add it to our Friday show. It's going to be a little segment on Friday where we're going to just each try. He's going to do a beer. I'm going to try maybe, it? like, a cider or seltzer kind of thing, um, because uh. we don't know anything about beer. 
And we might, if we're gonna sound it. stupid, we might as well do it when we're on, when we're being stupid. Find the all beef hot dog. So we'll. Um, I'm ready to try this shit. Just talk about it. it Tell you guys the flavor profile or whatever we find Fuck, on it, it. It tastes like beer. Like it, it would be. It would be. Then why'd you tell me to look up the thing? So you could sound informational. It'd be fun to do beer reviews, but I don't know anything about beer. I couldn't tell you a fucking thing about the goddamn shit. <clears throat> like the one that um, me and Angela picked out, I thought it was alcohol infused hot dog water, and I'm like, holy shit, this is gonna taste like shit, but I want to try it. But then after researching it, it's not hot dog water. It's beer. Why it's do you just, think it was hot dog water? I what's, the, what's the name of it? All Beef Frank. All right, I, All Beef Frank. Well, you might... And it's got a picture of a fucking hot dog on it. Would you not think that this is probably infused hot dog water? I mean, look at it. Right? Wrong? I'm going to copy Grim Green. Negative. Oh. And I found a cider. <clears throat> I think this is a beer cider. From the photos that I saw, but we'll see. Do you say Wednesday instead of Wednesday? I, said, I, I say Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I use W-I-N-D. Wednesday. I don't say Wednesday. Wednesday. But when I'm trying to spell it, I say Wednesday. <laughs> Drunken Fagan. That's a good... I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know nothing about beer. I can't pinpoint we started. We watched smells. a couple... Nothing. Like little clips of people, and we were like, "Yeah, that's we're not. That's not us at all." So. Yeah, it, my whole thing is like, does it get you drunk? Yep, it does. All right, then it's a good beer. Does it taste like hams? Nope, sure doesn't. Oh, I got. I have a glass. Oh, that Winnie the Pooh movie was fucking it horrible. Was stupid. Aside from the titty shot you got, that was it. And the only reason I wanted to watch it was because when we went to the movie the when we went to the movies last Saturday. It, we saw the preview for the part two that's coming out, and I was like, oh, well, if it's a part two, it couldn't have been that bad, right? Yeah, no. Nope. That would be the chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water, Sean. Thank you. It is not sponsored by Limp Biscuit. It's some brewery apparently in Chicago. I didn't even know that. And I'm going to drink it because my can and is I empty. I have the Storm Along White Magic Mountain Winter Cider. So it's Whoa. an apple cider. Um, and it's got like a maple syrup. This shit looks like fucking in it. snowman cum. God damn. It smells good. Comes out like fucking a milkshake. Holy Jesus. I'll bet you $100 right. I'll bet you $100 right now if she doesn't drink that. Let me taste it and I'll tell you if you're going to drink it or not. No. Let me just take a sip and I'll tell you if you're going to drink it. Like, I'll bet. Yeah, you'll drink it. It's like an apple pie. It's got maple syrup in it. Tastes like an apple pie. Holy shit. It looks like my urine. <laughs> that looks like your urine. That looks like pus. Actually. Dude, look at it. Holy. That looks like an infection. That's hazy as shit right there. God damn. I think that's like probably the haziest beer I've ever had. Good job. Are we saving the cans? Uh, I no. say we save the cans. Save the cans. Save the cans. Save yeah. the cans. Be a real alcoholic. What's up, Mr. Chuck? Give me the can. Give me the can. I'm going to fucking stick the can in your ass. Look at these two yuppies. Do we seem yuppie-ish? I mean, actually, we got glasses and everything. It does seem kind of yuppie. I knew we should got a 40 ounce of King Cobra. So I looked up everything about my drink for nothing then. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, just, it tastes like apple pie. How much alcohol is in it? I'm curious to know that, It was though. a 5.2. Uh, so like the same as one of your White Claws? Uh... It does. Alcohol's five. So. I've never had that shit. When I looked this up online, I seen the color of it. I'm like, holy shit, that is... Looks like orange juice. That looks like... Kind of smells a little bit like a hot dog. Pineapple juice or something. Here I comes. say orange. Wow, that's actually good. Can I taste that? Yeah. That's not bad at all. Holy shit. Not bad at all. Holy shit, that's good. No, that's not bad. That is good. That's really good. Holy shit. I'll be a little too expensive to be buying it, but what is like three something dollars a can for mm -hmm. a tall can? How about that? This smells like apple pie. It tastes like apple pie. Oh, this is good. Chris Maddie getting political already. 
Thank Chris, you, Chris. Muddy gave you three dollars. The last IPA I had tasted like a fucking pine tree. It was something by Voodoo. Haven't tried one since that. I'll drink Tranny Load before drinking a tree again, Bee Boo Bop. Oh, yeah. Chris, that's because you're a fucking sissy and you can't drink a man's beer. Don't don't get me started. This is actually really good. I would definitely buy this I told again. you it was good. That definitely is actually... buy this again. No, I don't think so. It's too expensive. <laughs> this is a one-time deal here. But this place apparently has a brewery in Chicago, which... If we hang out in back, we can all get all their old cans that are expired. I gotta take a picture for the, the thing. The new member? Is that a new member or is it a... Sorry, just seeing that, Sean. Thank you, sir, for being a member for 44 months. He said, what's up, Fagans? What's up, Sean? A.K.A. Scene. Do any of you guys use that app, uh, Untapped? Mark told me about it, and then I kind of found it when I was trying to look up this beer. <sighs> that sounds like a dating app, Untapped. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a social media for, like, beer. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Angela's drink looks like sewer water. It actually does what? look pretty bad. The color? You, it smells so good, though. It does taste exactly like apple pie, which is kind of weird, but... Hit the bong! What, are you trying to get me fucking... Take advantage of me, Craig? Just go for Heineken and forget the sign... Oh, Heineken, you gotta be fucking... That shit is... My buddy likes Heineken, I can't stand that shit. Oof. Just this, uh, the smell of it's horrible. <clears throat> so the app, you can look up... You can search different beers, so if you see something, like... it's for, But it's for, like, real yuppies, though. Like, I just downloaded it just to find, I, like, just get... See what beers are good, since I don't know nothing about beer. But everybody else on there, like, they're all, like, stuck-up yuppies. Like, oh, I fucking... I smell grapefruit right, and... but... Yeah, but you child's can... Child's penis. So if you see, like, a beer, like, on TV, like an ad or something, and you want to know where you can find it, you could search it by that... And it'll tell you where it's at. But then there's also like a they don't ever a discovery page where you can talk about whatever it is you're drinking. You can post where you bought it, little clips about it. So it's an app for alcoholics, is what you're saying. Chuck, thank you, sir. Raw underscore Chuck underscore raw underscore Chuck underscore gave you three dollars. A lot of underscores. Let's get this party started. You can also see people like who are nearby you, like if they're at like some kind of bar and what they're drinking or whatever. And Whoa, wait, a so you could find drunk women that are in the area? Yeah, like this person, like, okay, this person up here is at One Allegiance Brewery and he they're drinking a Pilsner. So it's like- Because they got a, a full body sh shot or no? No, but you could post whatever. Can you post like penis pics on there? I would guess. <laughs> You're able to post whatever, but I mean, it's it's kind of post a picture of your yeah, face as your main profile, and then put that you're like at a local bar and put like a picture of a 12 inch dick, and you're sitting there drinking a whatever beer. You'll have a bunch of women coming in. That might be a dating app than a beer app. I think. I kind of like it. It's like a Facebook for beer or something. It's, it's a Facebook for alcoholics. They probably have a drug one too. Like, where can you get the best cocaine at? Uh, north side, <laughs> south side, east side. Anywho. Stella's actually pretty good. That is a good one. I used to use Untapped all the time, is especially Stella when I was... Is that what I had at Chuck's the other day when we went? That... No. It was Stella Art Archers. Archers. Oh, wait. Maybe that was it. It was a cider. A craft beer bar manager. Very good when you're traveling and need something good. Yeah, I just downloaded it because... I like it because it recommends... Like, if you... Like a certain beer, and you don't know shit about beer, it'll recommend beers that are almost like that beer. Beer? Beer? Beer. 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 Shut up. Read the question. Jesus. Um, so, first question from Jack Roberts says, Happy Friday, Fagans. I made spaghetti pizza, and I have to thank you for recommending it. Loved it. Something different. Oh, good. Well, you know what? You should have posted pictures and your recipe so that we could have tried it as well. Because that is... I'm actually very excited that you did that, Jack. I can't believe how, how good that beer is. I hate they don't... But, uh, like, they don't probably... That, well, obviously that looks so... Looks, it looks fucking... You have no idea what that looks like to me. That doesn't look like semen, I hope, because my semen's no, not that color. No, I've just seen some nasty pus-filled drains, and that's what that looks like to me. It looks like orange juice to me, or grapefruit juice. 
It doesn't look like it'd be appealing, but man, that's fucking, that shit's golden. That is delicious. That, that came in a 12-pack? I would fucking turn the show off right now. Mm -mm. Who made uh, spaghetti pizza? Jack Roberts. So Jack took a frozen pizza, he cooked it, and he lifted up the sheet of cheese, laid some spaghetti down, and put the cheese back over it, because that's pretty much all a spaghetti pizza is. Who the fuck are you talk talking to? I'm responding to him, because I don't, maybe he, if he's not watching. So it looks like something out of a catheter. Whoa! That's what I'm saying! That's a pretty... If you're urinating that, if your shit is that dark, like, not that dark, but that thick, and that colorful... You're doing something that right. That looks like a UTI. What's up, Cheryl? <laughs> she real? She real? Oh, Robert's here. What's up, Robert? You Bitch son of a bitch. Your mom says, what does it taste like? It's got a very, like, his taste, like, it's the grapefruity kind of taste. It's is not very bitter at all. light. Yeah, not bitter at yeah, all. Yeah, it's not bitter. It's very, very light. Really good. It's, uh, where's this place in, at? In relation to the gumball head that he always drinks, like... Way better. This place is... How much alcohol is in it? 8.0. That's got 8.0? ABV is alcohol content, right? Damn. Yeah, I didn't know. They don't even feel like it's got that much alcohol. I'll be a son of a bitch. And this brewery is located where in Chicago? On Lincoln Avenue. God damn. That's time to go to fucking Lincoln Avenue. Look at that shit. Oh, I know where I'm going this weekend. Yeah, okay. That's Watch. where the party's at. Look at that place. It looks pretty odd. Like, it looks like a bunch of hipsters and shit there. But when I walk in, I'm like, oh, who let the white trash in? And that's what happens when you sell your beer at a fucking at a liquor store in the fucking ghetto. You got people like me buying it. And it was on the sale. This beer, it, it does look woke. You are right, Marcus. It looks very woke. Me drinking this out of this glass, I look super woke. I should have. I should have uh, probably. Um, they just put out vodka smash and tequila smash white claw in Canada. What don't is that? say that. Why are you here trying to start trouble? I don't want vodka and tequila white claw. Yeah, I'm you, in enough trouble with this white claw. You don't want it till you try it. Well, I won't try it. <laughs> mm, mm. I didn't know that Johnny drinks white claw. Johnny who? Who do you think? Oh. He been drinking. He been buying twelve packs of that shit. That's because White Claw's good. If it's I would have not... known that, I wouldn't even started talking to him. <laughs> this son of a bitch, a Chicagoan, a grown man, and he's drinking White Claw. I'm like, this is unbelievable. I don't know why you didn't think he did, because when we went to their house, when we dropped Marcus and his friend off for the basketball game, they had White Claw in their fridge. Maybe it was his wife's. I don't she know. She drinks wine. Oh, my God. Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say, he drinks White Claw? We would have walked right out. Because I love Johnny and his little cute little wife. But men shouldn't drink White Claw. Go to the brewery and get them to sponsor a YouTube star. <laughs> yeah. YouTube star. YouTube. That'll happen probably never, but still. See, those kind of places, I think, I don't know, I've never been to like one of those brewery type places, but... I don't think you go there to get drunk. I think you go there to kind of just drink a it's beer with like a buddy. It's like a wine tasting, yeah. Like, hey, guy, how you doing? You want to have a and beer? You seriously get the soda stream and add your own booze better than White Claw. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And don't that's even... just a bad situation. That's bad. I think I drink too much White Claw as it is, so that's probably not a good idea. Here we go. There's these, uh... Most of the people in here, Vince Yermont, is not... They're not men. They're actually women now i don't know what i'm saying dylan says mark are you planning on getting the tayfun gt5 for a review tayfun gt5 what the fuck he is said, that oh he said tayfun i guess i'm not t a i t a i oh what no gt5 sucks that's the that's the worst one i heard that's the one you don't want that's the one that's always in stock for a reason, because it's too overcomplicated. About overcomplicated. <sighs> There's no way this beer is eight something. It feels like it's going down like just. So you're gonna go to the bar tonight, basically. I don't know. There's only got, <laughs> I only got one of these. I wish, wish there was more. Do they have more of these there? Yeah, they had a whole bunch. They had God. the the hot dog one and they had a hamburger one. Mm. Still in the box in the kitchen. I can tell my wife to bring some white claw vodka. Uh, don't don't get her started. 
Don't get her started. Loves going to breweries to get drunk on f flyers? What the fuck is a flyer? I mean, I, it just seems like every time you see, like, the like I've never been to one, but every time you see the crowd there, it's like they don't look like the type of people that are there to get drunk. They look like they're those weird people that only drink beer just to drink it, but not get drunk off of it. Troy V, how come you never wanted to meet up with us to cook in the backyard every weekend, weather be damned? That's uh, kind of offensive. Oh, no, he said, I'm in the backyard cooking every weekend, weather be damned, at Brian Ferguson, ever in Chicago, look me up. Well, how come you have, if you live in Chicago, how come you haven't looked us up and invited us over for some barbecue? I believe he used to live right down the street from us where we used to live, if I'm not mistaken. Can we get a daily poop report? Oh, you know, you don't want one today. No, 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 no. Well, today was a bad day. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to report. I think we had bad chicken last night from a local eatery, and mm. I had like um, digestive distress this morning at work with mm. some severe abdominal pain. So I left work after an hour and came home. <laughs> Pretty much shitting our brains out. Yeah. Go ahead and ask why I don't do anal sex. Uh, because I say no. Uh, That's why you don't do anal sex. I didn't know women had to say so. Are, Are you going to a bar tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day? We didn't know what to do. We were talking about it. We didn't know. Our friends are going on Sunday. Um, so I told them to let us know when they go and we might stop by to say hi and have like one drink with them. I don't know what time they're going. I have to go to work on Monday, so I'm not trying to sit at a bar, obviously, all night. And we're making corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and stuff like that on the grill tomorrow. So we got our own stuff going on. But if they go early enough, maybe we could, you know, just go over there and say hi. I don't know. The problem with St. Patrick's Day is, like, everyone, like, drinks and parties on a Sunday morning, which I don't understand that. I understand St. Patrick's Day is on a Sunday, but why not Troy celebrate said, it on a Saturday? Would like, you guys want to meet up? I just figured Mark is a recluse, so never thought to ask. He was a recluse, but now that he's off that one medication we won't talk about. What the fuck's a recluse? Getting, uh, Tom's dad. Whoa, easy, man. It's doesn't leave the house. Right. Why can't you just say it doesn't leave the house? <laughs> man, but, it's But now ignorant. he's he's getting back to how his normal self, his his normal ways. So he is wanting to go out. He is wanting to meet new people and hang out and have more friends. Not new people. So yeah, we would definitely be down to meet up somewhere in a public place where nobody could get, you know, murdered. A dark Just alley. At least for once for Pref one time. Preferably a dark alley. <laughs> and stop setting up fucking meetups. With you people. said you wanted more friends. Not fucking, not people off YouTube. They're all fucking, they're all convicts. Half these motherfuckers are on a list. And the other half probably should be on a list. Angela, have you ever done corn on the grill in the husk with a little butter in the husk? Delicious. I don't think Never I've butter done in the husk. on the husk with butter in it, no. That seems like a, that seems pretty tricky. Uh, Ginger, it's a, there's a lot of questions. He says, <clears throat> If bald people work in a restaurant, do they still need to wear a hairnet? No. Or, well, if they have a beard, then yes. Well, he didn't say beard. He said bald people. Why is a sandwich Why is sandwich meat round when bread is square? Uh, You might be, not all, I don't know what sandwich meat you're buying, but. Some isn't. Uh, Crocus is not square. You buy the prepackaged lunch meat? Is that why it's round? That ain't the real lunch meat. The what is it? The ham and cheese ham with the cheese in it is trying is uh ham and cheese loaf? Yeah, that's that shit important. is so fake. Uh that's only bologna is round. If there's an ambulance on its way to save someone and it hits someone, would it stop to help them? Wait, what? If an ambulance is on their way to get somebody, <clears throat> but they hit somebody en route, would they stop and help them? Probably not. I would hope so. Neil, come on over. Bring some beer and some cigarettes. Why can't women apply mascara unless their mouth is open? Because you gotta like. Can't you do that with your mouth shut though? <laughs> no, it's it's a whole. You have to make a face when you put mascara on. Where the fuck do they pull these questions from? Um, why <sighs> is it called taking a dump and not leaving a dump? <laughs> 
That's actually a good that's question. A good, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure Google could answer that. Taking a dump. I guess the same reason why it's called a blowjob when you're not technically blowing. So right, it's not like... Oh, yeah. Mr. Screlly, thank you for being a member for 46 months. He says, thank you, Mark. Just tell us how you feel about us. <laughs> I love you guys. I didn't say Robert was on the list. I said he should have been on the list. <laughs> he also says, do bald people still get dandruff? Yes, he gets dandruff all the time. Ooh. You. That's because I use bar of soap to wash my hair. Because I don't have any hair. Yeah, you're right. If you guys are like, did he just say that? He did. He uses bar soap on his scalp. Why not? Because you get fucking dandruff, weirdo. I don't have any hair. What am I going to use? Fucking Pert Plus? No, but just a little bit of... Why? I like the squeaky feel. I don't like the smooth feel. You can use my, the shampoo in the shower. If you use shampoo and you're bald, you are retarded. Bottom line, I don't care who you are. If you shampoo and you have a ball head, well, you're retarded. Then stop using bar soap on your scalp. A scalp is just skin. Because it you clog your pores. That's why you got rashes all over your no, fucking scalp. That's from the fucking Asian and those fucking whatever lotion no, they're using. Yeah. That's no, what? that's a rash on your scalp. No, that's well, because I cut my hair today and I I oiled my clippers with WD forty. And I think the WD-40 <clears throat> got it in my skin. Yeah, don't oil your clippers with WD-40 because it's not good for your skin. Ooh, that's a... Wow, this beer gives me gas. Holy shit. Oh, wow, that is... Yeah, you don't want to breathe for a couple minutes. Holy shit. They should have put a warning on the can. Holy fuck, that's strong. It smells like fresh brewed coffee with bologna sandwiches. Picture of what? Your drink. It looks like it's thick. I wonder if I'm gonna pee. Am I pee gonna look like that? <laughs> <I don't know. clears throat> the, the list I'm on is behind a paywall. <laughs> uh, he also says if we are clean before <laughs> using bath towels, then why do we need to wash them? Because after so many, they get damp, and the dampness causes mold and or mildew to build up. That's why. I dry the inside of my ass with my towel, so you may want to wash it. <laughs> if, the pol if the police arrest a one-armed man, how do they handcuff him? They, uh, Depends on how much arm is gone, I think. I think they just hog... They hog tie him. Fuck it. You can <clears throat> hog tie with one hand? No, they put the chains around your ankles, probably. If Siamese twins go to a Nickelback concert, do they get charged for one or two tickets? That's racist. Depends on how many legs they have. Ain't no Asians going to see Nickelback. I might have to fart again. Wow, this shit's... Do you think Siamese twins are Asian? No, but they sound Asian. I like moldy towels here. Do They're... you know what a Siamese twin is? Yes. Um, they look the same? I don't know. Let's go to the next question. I heard a, the term before. A Siamese twin is a twin that didn't split all the way down. So it's like one body with two heads. Oh. Or maybe they're connected at the hip and got four legs. I've seen a few of them. Oh my God, you're a fucking idiot. I can't. <laughs> they can, yes, they can be Asian. But they're not all Asian. Siamese doesn't mean Asian. Just an FYI. When I'm thinking Siamese, I think of the... It means connected. I think it was Tom and Jerry when they sing that song. I am Siamese. No, that was not Tom and Jerry, you, you fucktard. That was Lady and the Tramp. That was the oh. cats. The Siamese cats and Lady and the Tramp. I can't. And they were Chinese cats. They're not Chinese cats. They're Siamese. I can't. I'm trying to drink my orange juice. Shut up. We are all Siamese, if you please. There you go. See? I, want you to... I feel like I'm drinking pudding. <clears throat> Mark has a special stall in the men's room with a special little window. Last little Screw question Brian from and Michael. Ginger. If the Wicked Witch of the West melts from water, how did she clean herself? With dirt. What? Dirt. What the fuck are you talking about? What? I'm not even gonna. 
I have no idea. I he think, doesn't know what a Siamese twin is. You can't ask him Ginger, about the Wicked Witch of the West. I think Ginger's hitting the bottle. Right, exactly, Kyle. That's why there's two Michigans, because Siamese twins are Asian. He's sipping that Japanese whiskey. That shit'll kill you, man. Turn the alcohol in there to fucking sterilize you. Can I update you on some recent family drama? Not really drama, because nothing's happening, but... Oh, God. My brother's upset. <sighs> Dude, that dude, he's more upset than a fucking woman. He's no, always upset. But so, okay. So, Mason's birthday was yesterday. Are you just say his kid's birthday? Okay, his kid's birthday was yesterday. My mom sent a card. Happy birthday for Here we money. Go with the mommy blah, blah, blah. All right. But the date that she put on it was March 18th. On the, the date on what? On the card. My mom always puts your birth date on the card. Like, you know, when you put the date on something, she'll put your birth date on the card. Yesterday was the 14th. Who cares? She doesn't know his birthday. I don't know my parents' birthday. The only way I know your birthday and Marcus's birthday because they have a, a pattern. I don't know nobody's birthday. Some people just don't, they don't know dates. Okay, well. Is that seriously something to be bad about? Your grandkid, I mean, I don't know. You're old. You're, I mean, she's old. I'm not on her side, obviously. But I'm saying she's old. Like, uh, uh, dates are like, I don't know. Those are. But her birthday's coming up. I don't know what to do. Mm. Send do her... I send a card with some money in it? Or do I just say happy birthday? Fuck is my phone? Man, hang up. Those motherfuckers, every. <laughs> they must want money. Don't answer it. Do they got to they gotta need money now. Because they've been calling, like. Well, put the thing back up. Whenever there's fucking refill, like, hey, go want to get your shit refilled? Like, no, bitch, I would have fucking called and had it refilled. So that's drama? Because she got uh, her, her my date mixed up? That's a little... Sounds to me like there's other deep-rooted issues, and maybe you just want to use that as, like... Uh, that's something to get. That's really something to get. Like, <laughs> but, so I asked him, "Are you gonna send her?" You know, I was like, "Are you gonna? What are you gonna? You know, her birthday's coming up. Are you gonna send her a card or text her? What are you gonna do?" But he's been paying her back the money that she loaned them, so he sends her the money every month on the twentieth. Her birthday's the 29th, so he's like, "I was planning on just sending her the money on the 29th and saying happy birthday." <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. If someone gets my birthday wrong, you know, I, I don't give a shit. Like, happy birthday. Like, oh, it's last week. I don't give a shit. That's really a thing? People care about that? No, but if your grandma doesn't know your birthday, like, that's different. But she's a grand... Like, when w women get old... My mom's 69. Like, she's not... That's like, old. But she's not... Her mind isn't gone. Okay, well, regardless, if that's something to get, like, mad about, I don't, I don't feel like that's something to get mad about. I have the Mexicans taking over the trailer. Yeah. Wait, what? Have the Mexicans have the Mexicans taking over the trailer lot yet? Um, we haven't been to the trailer park yet, but it was. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, the Mexicans are. Oh, I'm not. You know what? I'm not saying nothing. Don't get me started. Don't get me going. I love Mexicans, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Angela, who are the orphans? Michael seventy three, holy shit! And he could still get on the internet. The orphans are from uh, the Warriors. Who are they? From the Warriors. Oh. Um. Angel Gomez says, "Why the fuck is your show on an hour early?" It's Grab the beer can. This shit's really it took fucking me good. Four months to get used to it being an hour late, and you fucking changed it back again. It wasn't an hour early. I know it doesn't look like it would be good looking at the artwork on the can. Like, it doesn't look like it'd be. This is probably one of the best beers I've had so far. Oops. This is crazy good. I take a picture of this together. But what are you doing? I'm taking a picture for that app. Shut up! Don't bu don't don't worry about what I'm doing. I I'm sorry. Are we sponsored by this app? No, but well, what maybe we could be. Oh yeah, because they're gonna. Oh, Jesus, you're gonna have fucking people knocking on our door. Hey, I seen your picture, and the guys were next door. I figured I'd come over. I brought some crack rock and some meth. Hey guys, download the new crack app. 
It shows all the people that are smoking crack in your area so you can hook up with them and smoke crack. Where can I get some yam? Yam I am. What, are the, what is that? That rings a bell. Sierra? I never tried that before. This, I never tried none of this here in Nevada stuff. Nine points. This doesn't taste... This almost tastes like there's no alcohol in it. That's how like smooth it is. This is crazy. But... <clears throat> It does give you gas. Uh, hmm. David said, are you worried about catching the measles? Uh, that would be a negative. Oh, yeah. Because the... there's been two cases of kids in the... Um... I thought measles was like a normal thing you get and then... No, it's been gone. For... Someone's got gas. Here we go. Some dude gave you $3. <laughs> Warriors, come out to playa. Warriors, come out to play. Can you dig it? Do you know what that means? Yes, it's from the Warriors, the, the, the movie. Oh, I've never seen it. I only watch porno. <clears throat> What's the name? The, the name of the beer is called... It's called All Beef Frank by Hop Butcher. So here's the back of the can. The Hop Butcher, H-O-P Butcher. And the front of the can. It's really good. Like, I shit you not, this beer is... If they sold this shit in 12 packs, I wouldn't even. I'd delete my channel. I'd be I'm pretty fucking, sure they do. You just have to look for it. They don't sell this in 12 packs. Or not 12 packs, but at least the four or six pack. Yeah, I'm not fucking dropping thirteen dollars for a four pack. That's that's Mike Vape's money right there. I'm uh, still so are, no, the measles are uh, we're pretty much kind of wiped out. Like nobody's had the measles for a while because we get vaccinated for them when you're little. But in like you know, pancake man, they should other countries they don't do that. So the people at the uh, what are they called? Migrants. Migrant shelters. Well, don't worry two about... children have had measles. There's nothing to worry about the migrants. Everything has been taken care of. Because mm. Tyson is gonna hire. The alcohol content on Mark's beer is eight point zero. Fifty thousand of them, and they're gonna house them. And pay them 16 bucks an hour. So you don't have to worry about a fucking thing. They'll take care of them. Only in New York, though. They're not going to take care of Chicago. <clears throat> Is that minimum wage in New York? Yes. People are fucking, they're boycotting all Mark is Tyson talking products. about how excited he is, like, you know, because he's, he's going to get this job interview. And if he gets a job, whatever, he's making minimum wage. So me and him were talking about it, like, minimum wage now is like, what, $15, $16 an hour, depending on where you live. When I started working... I was getting paid five dollars and twenty five cents. What the fuck? <laughs> I remember when I was working, I was making fourteen fifty an hour, and I thought I was like the boss. I'm like, oh Man. yeah, when like yeah, like that when you had like an actual job. Mm -hmm. Like remember when you and me first started, kind of started dating, and I was working at the factory. Like, and I was like, oh my god, I just got hired. I'm gonna be making ten bucks an hour. Like, yes. It's uh. But I don't think none of these jobs are full time. That's the problem. Like all these jobs well, no, are but all. He's first of all. I think you're. I'm not saying about the, the kid. I'm just saying about people in general. I think all the. I think I don't know, but I think most of these jobs, none of them are full time. That's the problem. Yeah. So you can make sixteen, seventeen dollars an hour, but if you're not working full time, it don't right, mean but shit. But as a sixteen year old making sixteen dollars an hour, if you're working twenty hours a week, oh. 20, 25 hours a week. When Uncle Sam gets a piece of that, he'll be like, "What the fuck is this? Like, welcome to the." IRS, welcome to Uncle Sam. Welcome to you. Might as well just spread your butt cheeks now, because they're gonna stick it in even deeper. Well, then he'll know. Uh, John Hort, aka Johnny the Beer, said, "What up, Angela and Sweet Pea?" Question for Mark: Are you going to be eating canned corned beef hash this year? Ooh, there's nothing wrong with canned corned beef hash. It's the best stuff in the world. Brian, I would suck your dick if you're making 125 bucks an hour. That's all I'm saying. I'm not sure I would too. Shit. I'm not sure that's a compliment or not, but shit. <laughs> I, I would do a lot of things for you if you were making $125 an hour. I'd be up, I'd be up and out. Let me know where you're at. I'll fly there and then we'll move in. I'll be, I'll, we'll get married too if you want. Fuck it. I was making 16 an hour for tech support at Comp, Comp USA. Holy shit, that's fucking... In Chuck, 95. how old are you? Damn, 95. Wow. That was probably like fucking big pay in 95. 16 an hour... Brian's a professional. You're here, Brian. Something must have happened if you're a professional and you are in this chat room. Paul Catton posted a little gif. It says, I'm confused. Why are you texting me? This is the little gif. 
That's how uh, he looks when I send him a text. <laughs> when you respond to a text, you mean? Because yes. I don't think you actually text him out of the blue. I don't really text anybody out of the blue. It was big pay for me. It would have been big pay for anybody at that time. Four pack of all beef frank, sixteen dollars can. Sixteen dollars. Wow. That's really expensive, but I can tell you right now, this is some damn good beer. It, uh, it's really good. If he had that upstairs in the fridge upstairs and I was trying to wow. be sneaky, I would drink it. Because it's 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 drinkable, definitely. Okay. It's I, not harsh or like over sour or over like pungent. It's really fucking good. Oh, I, yeah. I, I thought this was going to be taste like shit. I got to find this shit on it. I, I doubt they put it on sale, but... God, well, damn. we can go back and get the the sale cans. I think the, these were three ninety nine each. Four dollar, four eighteen, four eight, twelve, sixteen dollars a four pack. You can get a thirty rack of hammer for that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we go to the liquor store, I'm like, oh look at there's hams, or there's the Pabst Blue Ribbon, or whatever, and he's like, we're not getting that. How is this so? There's no way this is. Wow, that's. But this cider is actually really, really good. Fuck that cider, man. This shit's good. Hopefully all the other beers we got were this good, because, man, this is... And what kind of beer is this? Is it a hazy IP? Or what is it? There's so this many... This is a Double India IPA. Pale... Double India Pale Ale. Hazy as shit. All right, that shit. Mm. God damn. <clears throat> oh, look who's here. Brett the fucking Whitney. goddamn iPhone... The iPhone cock rider. Trucking himself. <laughs> Brett Whitney says, Mark, is a seltzer, a water, or a beer? Great show, you two. Uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day early. Seltzer is carbonated water with alcohol in it. It is the easiest way for anyone to drink alcohol and consume alcohol. If you don't like the taste of alcohol, get yourself fucking... Dude, I, I can almost... I, I just want to know how many people they have hooked... Uh, drinking from seltzers. Like, these seltzer things are, like, popular as shit. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's, like, fucking 100 brands. Now, all it is is just fucking seltzer water with alcohol in it. We received... You definitely are the apple cock riding champ. Listen here, you $10 fucking... $10 from Charles O'Brien on PayPal. Uh... Thank you, Charles O'Brien. 25 an hour at Pizza Hut and 85 Wow. What? Holy shit. Oh, no, wait. Five twenty-five. Oh, I was going to say 25 an hour at Pizza Hut <laughs> in 85 Where the fuck? What town are you in? For once, Ooh, I agree with pizza, Mark. Pizza sounds good. I want to go to Night Clover's house and get him drunk because he don't drink anymore, but he smokes weed, so... Night Clover, let's get drunk. Come on. I'm the apple of his eye. My good one or my bad one? Or... The bad one or the horrible one? Do you guys remember one? the Bigfoot pizza from Pizza Hut? That was the shit. The, um... I like the, uh, the Big New Yorker. Even though it's like a big grease pit. What's up, Brett? You guys should make Ugh. the channel about just beer. We don't know anything about beer, Robert! That's why we're doing this... I thought we were gonna do a whole, like, situation on the beer, but I guess we're not doing that, so... We don't know about, like... I thought you, like, did a whole, like... Photo for the beer. The second. Yeah, but, then I, but then I realized after watching beer reviews, like they're talking about like hops and this, and like, yeah, let me taste the head. I'm like, what? Okay, well, we could have at least tried. And like, I could have read what I found about my cider, and you could have read what you found out about your beer. And there's then. One, there's nothing. You could have read what it's what's in it. Give me another year. There's Simcoe and Nelson Savin. You don't know. You can't even pronounce what the fuck that says. <laughs> Give me another year when I'm a full blown alcoholic. <laughs> I might know a little bit more. <laughs> Plus, I'm really like reserved. I guess the word is with beer. Like I don't like the the dark beers. I don't like these. I don't like. There's okay, so many beers I don't like. You don't have to like anything. You just you're trying them. I don't want to try if I don't like them. You don't see me out fucking uh, Asian midgets just to try them. I don't like them. But you would, though. Nope. Not an Why Asian you midget. you don't like an Asian midget? Because they're a rarity and you don't see them in Chicago. Thank you. Next question. Can't say you don't like somebody because of their disability. I don't get with midgets at all. Because they, they, they almost feel like... You like can't you look, say they freak you out. They're little. It almost like you're, like, it's like that little... Those little butt cheeks I had, <laughs> I feel like I was 
being a, you know what, a, a PEDO. Like, this ass is not the right size, man. This shit's, I'm going to go to jail just using this thing. Oh, God. I and, miss Ponderosa. Ponderosa was the shit, too. Are they coming? Someone's coming back. I don't know if it's Ponderosa or, uh, what's the other place? Or there's another one. You would fuck a hole in the wall. Depends if the hole was filled with something or how about a Siamese Asian midget? Ooh. Nope. No midgets for me. <laughs> Mark likes midget pole dancers. That's probably why you never went to the midget bar. I did go to the midget bar. Then why don't you like midgets? Little... I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm saying I have no sexual desire for them. Would you read a question before we get locked up? God damn. Uh, Jamie says, if you wanted to get back to the workforce instead of being trapped in the house all week long, what type of job would you want? Drug dealer. <laughs> Drug dealer or pimp, one of the two. I need some action. I don't want to just, I, I need some kind of action. I want to be like, I want to be a famous white pimp that specializes in, in very unique women. Vipin Fagan has sexual desires for anything but his hot wife. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, uh, how many pimps do you know that specialize in in unique... Like, I'm talking like handicapped women. All different types of women. Like, say you're looking for a, a particular thing. Like, a chick with one leg. You'd call me up. You're looking for <laughs> just a normal girl. You don't call me up. <laughs> Chuck says, where is a good place to find a chair for the computer? Your your computer needs a chair? Mm -hmm. Why don't you buy a desk for your computer, Chuck? It actually would sit a lot more level if you placed a computer on the desk rather than place it on a chair. Ikea, you're skinny. I don't think they have Ikeas out by you, but if you weigh under 300 pounds, Ikea is probably the best place to Chuck go to get a said, chair. No, he has sexual desires for ST vape. <laughs> I see he's a little too, like, he's a little too dad looking for me. Um, I would probably try, or Facebook Marketplace. Just don't buy it off of some uh, smelly fat guy. <clears throat> Vid said Ponderosa still exists. They have some in Illinois. I say road trip, live Ponderosa mukbang. That's do they? That's a good idea. They don't have Ponderosas out here anymore. We should. I bet they do. There used to be one in Sterling Rock Falls area. There was one by us. It might still be there because, you know, they're weird out there ponderosa yeah what was that place that we went to with brian and amy and vague or not Vegas or california whatever no it, it was bought by them no i know that but what was that place we went to like holy shit there's one and we went in there it was just horrible it's not steak and shake the other s um <sighs> not ponderosa not steak and shake but it starts with an s Sizzler. Sizzler. Yes, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Fuck Golden Corral. Holy shit. The, the Sizzler, that was pretty bad. I went to Golden Corral once with her and never again. That was I'd rather eat out of a fucking bad. dumpster. That shit uh, is... Vids posted it. It's on. It's in Vandalia, Illinois. I don't even know where the fuck that is. So Grouch used to work as a dish... It washed dishes... So would you eat their food, uh, Grouch? Since you worked there and you kind of knew what was going on or no? I heard there's some shady shit that goes on there. What's up, Gary? Gary is in the house. This is the best beer in the world. Jacqueline says, Happy Friday, bitches. This week's question, lighter than last week. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm sitting in bed melting and craving some cold and yummy. Hence the question. Have a fabulous weekend, everyone. Was that a man that just said that? No, Jacqueline. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Peanut butter chocolate. Ice cream flavor. Peanut butter chocolate from Dunkin' Donuts. The food trough. Mm. Like, if I'm talking favorite of all time that, like, brings back happy memories kind of situation would be mint chocolate chip. If I'm talking about something I would eat right now, even knowing that I would get sick and be in the fetal mm. position, it would be the, um, I don't know the, the brand. I think it's haagen maybe, um, but it's the banana split. It comes in a little container. Or like moose tracks or something like that. Yes, I would, Bubbles. I would... uh, we had a time change in Chicago. It's currently 2 p.m. And Chuck is fucking talking shit. Get over. 
Rachuk gave you $3. Shit. Shut your mouth and open a White Claw, Mark. First of all, I'm not Canadian, so I'm not going to drink White Claw. Here's your next beer. Sec second, how are you going to give me this after drinking this? Well, what do you want? The no, other there's one that you bought? No, I can't. I don't want those. Well, no, but you bought the um, this one. Let me try the... Uh... No, I don't want to buy the ones. Is this no. the four pack I bought? Yeah. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Motherfucker, you yell at me again. I'm going to sodomize you with a coat hanger. Or do you want the black one? No, just give me that. Because, no. Because I don't want to. This is like. I, I, yeah, no. Just take that. Get it out. God damn. I can't even fucking. Women and alcohol don't What do you mix. want? I want more of that. Well, we don't have more of that. Well, call up the fucking brewery and get a truck over here, man. God damn. Angela, are... Wow. Uh, do, you, do you have to try the... An oh, I can't... I can't get the remote. It's not a remote. It's a fucking mouse. Andy, uh, the Arby's Andy's Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream Shake. Delicious. Ugh. Ooh. So the problem is, is that I can only drink, like, two, maybe three sips of a, a shake or something because I get, like, really, really sick... So even like Mark, he'll be like, oh, let's go get. Speaking of fucking sissies, take it away, Chris. Chris Maddie gave you $3. Ponderosa in Vandalia, Illinois is an hour from me and it's next to a KFC slash Taco Bell Express. Let's fucking go Mark Road Trip down 55. Okay, well, let's where do, do it. you live? Um, You don't live that close, do you, Chris? Where the hell is Vandilla, Illinois? Well, it's an hour from Chris. Where does Chris live? I fuck if I know. Okay, well, why don't we get that? I've never heard first? of Vandilla, Illinois, in my entire life. It's yeah. got to be like ten hours away. God damn, that's I've never heard of this. Yeah, what were we talking? Oh yeah, so he'll randomly he'll be like, oh, let's go get some ice cream and let's go to you know Overweiss or whatever, and I'm like, okay, you can go, and then we'll go, and I won't get anything. He's like, you're not gonna get nothing. I was like, it makes me sick. He's like, oh, I forgot about that. Like, it makes me very, very sick. Because you're lactose, whatever. Yeah, ice cream, the top. Like, I can drink a little bit of milk. Like, I can eat cereal. The show started an hour ago. I don't ago. have a lot of milk on the spoon. Wait, hold on a second. Did the time not change for certain people? Like, I why don't are... know if there is daylight savings in Europe. But I know there's not daylight savings for Arizona because they're on mountain time, so they don't do daylight savings. Wait a minute. So the, t the time doesn't change for everyone? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. Oh, wow. That's weird. So there's certain people where it's like, it's... Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Holy yeah. fuck. I love learning new shit at the age of 40-something. <clears throat> wow. That's, that's the best beer I've ever had in my life. 30 minutes from St. Louis. That's technically not that far. I will tattoo the logo of the brewery on my forehead if they supply me with a beer until I die. That St. Louis, I think, is four hours from us. Four or five hours from We're us. Saskatchewana Chiwan. Where the fuck does he live at? Taiwan? Saskatchewan. Where's that, in China? I think that's made up. Oh, made up. It sounds racist. Saskatchewan. <laughs> Angela, I take pills to tolerate lactose. You may want to try them. Your doctor can prescribe. So I don't know if I'm 100%. Like, I don't know what it is that makes me sick. Because I can't drink milk. And I can't have ice cream. Can't swallow those. But I can have cheese. I can eat yogurt. Um, well, you realize the cheese that we eat is not real cheese. Oh, it is because I buy the bricks now. So That's it's not. Yes, it fake. is. This is. I don't think I, I could ever drink gumball head again for this. <laughs> This is like shit beer now. Here we go. Chris Maddie gave you $3. Yeah, I out. love four hours oh. from you south on 55. St. Louis Mark. Both cities have many rivalries when it comes to sports. Vandalia is east on 70 for me. I know nothing about sports, Chris, but we are like 10 minutes from 55. We're right by 55 and 294 where they come together. That's where we live, right over there. Not, like, right next to that, but right in that vicinity. If you want to get together, just come over to the fucking house. I ain't fucking... We ain't driving... All of a sudden, now we can invite people over. Yes. Now things are okay. Back then, I was, you Plastic know, a bit of a hermit. Plastic size cheese ain't real cheese. No, I buy the bricks, and it's not... Yeah, no. It's We, we buy fake cheese. Don't no, listen to her. Um, if it becomes a Cubs in a brick... 
<laughs> when you're paying two dollars for the brick, it's not real cheese. <laughs> I don't pay two dollars for brick. You don't know how much I pay for my cheese. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I can have yogurt and cheese and not get as violently sick as I do with milk and ice cream. I don't know what it is. Because even like they, my doctor was like, oh, it's the sugar in the ice cream. But I can eat as much fruit as I want. And that's got a lot of sugar in it, too. And it doesn't make sense. I think it's sick. a different kind of sugar, though. One's like an added sugar. One's a natural Maybe, sugar. Maybe. I don't know. Because I really don't eat a lot of can like candy anymore, either. But like I can eat all the fruit. And it doesn't make me sick like ice cream and everything else does. Chris, if you come down, we're not drinking fucking gay beer. We're going to drink real beer. So if you can't handle drinking real beer... Don't come down. Go bring a fucking bush light well, or fucking Chris, Milwaukee's this year, best. I'm turning 40, so we're having a big old party. Welcome yourself on down, buddy. You're uh, up, wherever. We're looking for wherever. some midget, midget strippers, too, by the way. Come to Bridgeport. I'll take you on a tour of... Yeah, fuck Inglewood. What are you, fucking nuts? I don't need a tour of Inglewood. Been there, done that. We don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't need a tour of Inglewood. <laughs> We've been through Inglewood quite a few times couple miles away. How are you still in chat? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to I'm just shut my mouth right now. Wow, that beer's good. Holy fuck. Angela sounds as if you you're you have a need for probiotics and prebiotics, maybe. I totally agree with what you're saying. Because since her she see shit out, she see shits her food out so fast, her body doesn't get any vitamins from the food. Yeah. That's one of the downsides from those surgeries. They don't well, tell no, you? Well, no, it's not. Well, that also, but it's because of the Linzess, I think. That's why my my food comes out so quickly like that. So regardless of if she's eating healthy food or shitty food, she don't yeah. get nothing from the food. No vitamins whatsoever. Yeah. So it just goes it goes in and it comes out. Um, but I've been taking a liquid vitamin every day. so And it I, makes me feel good during the day. So I'm uh, hoping Nathan, my body's absorbing it a little bit. No comment on that, but... You don't, don't talk shit about Inglewood. A little bit. Little the bit. new hot city of of the of the of the month is Dalton. I used to actually hang out in Dalton years ago. If you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys have. Seen, speaking of Dalton, this has nothing to do with Dalton. I that's what you're gonna talk about. What Dalton? The mayor. Oh well, fuck the mayor! I am so fucking tired of hearing about fucking Mike Tyson and fucking what is his name Jake Paul. Something, Paul. Fuck them both. Oh, my God. Every fucking where on YouTube, on Facebook. Dude, I look at my fucking phone and there's an ad That's that pops up. Mike Tyson and what's his ever. name? Yeah. I probably shouldn't push that one out. No, I wouldn't push that. If you had to push it out. I am so thing. tired of seeing the ads for these two fucking idiots. No one gives a shit. It's rigged. It definitely rigged. A, it's a, it's a money-making fight, obviously. But it's just, it's, it, oh my god, it's so, let them fight for real. Do a street fight, no right. gloves. Yeah, because yeah. they were talking on the radio how there's all these rules, they're using the bigger gloves, there's more padding, and Jake Paul might be able to wear the helmet where Tyson can't. It's like, well, that's bullshit. Like, I, I can't. <clears throat> um... Paul, Vape Bachelor says, Mark Fagan, are you going to be my best man at the wedding and Angela can be my flower girl? I would love to be a flower girl. Who said that? Vape Bachelor. Uh, if you want me to be your best man, then you're, you gotta, I, your, your marriage is probably gonna go downhill quick. I don't think I've, I don't Angela, think... same conditions here as a crapshoot eating the right foods. I mean, during the day, like at work, I eat vegetables and like I I eat a pretty decent. But the food doesn't food. stay in you long enough right. to get but any I vitamins from it. I don't get it. any of the vitamins or nutrients or anything from it. That's why, um, me take even that's what we learned kind of when I was with having the issues with the low iron. I was taking iron supplements and it wasn't registering my body. Like my body was not absorbing the iron. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to decipher what Nathan just said. Just about, just about the chop up. It's time for a cone. I don't know if he's doing like no, piles cone, of cocaine. A cone, cone is the uh, oh the joints, the, the joints, cone joints. The cone oh joints. okay, okay. Yeah. Chopping I thought you were doing it up like means you're chopping up your flour. I thought you were chopping up lines and doing like big cones of like pyramids of cocaine. 
I'm like, shit, put your fucking phone number in chat. Yeah, Bachelor, if you're really getting married, you're going to have to change your name. You're not going to be a Bachelor Ain't anymore, nobody sir. Bachelor. Who the fuck is going to marry Bachelor? What are you, nuts? No idea. Uh, Mark, this is from Marcus. This is Mark drunk arguing with adults. Oh, my God. I'm printing this out. This is the best photo ever. What is it? I don't see anything. Oh, uh, what? This is, the, I'm printing this out. This is the greatest photo I've seen ever. I Marcus love is, this. He's a piece of shit. That's I'm, why. This is going, I'm printing this out. I will show you guys next week when I print it out. And he's we're going to hang that up right behind us. Man, stop, stop making photos, Marcus. You're, this just costs money, man. This is the money, best man. photo I've seen ever. Until next Hilarious. week when someone makes another one. Oh, <sighs> no. Hilarious. I told you and I look great. Look at me. Look mm -hmm. at that makeup. I like it. Can you use a... This is the greatest photo. I'm printing this out. Yes. I can't drink this beer anymore. <laughs> Tastes like dog pee. <laughs> to speak in the truth. You're lucky I don't have a, a passport to come to North Korea, Marcus. <laughs> I'm print That's going to that's gonna be a nice... Where are those pictures? Bachelor's anyway? not getting married. There, there is not a woman out there that's gonna put up with his bullshit. Where'd you put those photos at? They're on the fucking wall behind you, cross-eyed son oh. of a bitch. Are you wanted to buy frames for them? Like, what are you fucking nuts? <laughs> They're all hidden by your guitars. Take oh. your guitars down. Sure, no problem. Let's just throw them out in the garbage can. No, put them on the side walls. Who the fuck are you? Notice the sign up. Oh no, that says we're a wife. I thought there was a sign up there that says no women allowed. There's not, though. Did you throw that one out? No, we never had one that says no women allowed. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> we don't let Pollocks in. Who? Croatia. Croatia? Where the fuck is that at? Oh, my God. What's his name was from Croatia. <clears throat> it's in Europe. Kind of by Czechoslovakia-ish area. Kind of over there. They area. have internet in Croatia? Oh, my God. Wow, that's... I'm, bachelor, first of all, even if he found a woman that would marry him, he ain't getting married again. Even if he, I don't think he was married, but he might have been married before. I think he was, but he ain't getting married again. He ain't that stupid. He's too old. He's gonna shrivel up. <laughs> Jason, he asked Fagan to be the best man of Angela. The oh Jesus. Okay, I'm, I don't know what I'm reading. Are you? You got any questions? Or are you just no? I was done. Oh, well. That was it. Croatia would be nice if there wasn't so many Croatians there. Whoa. <laughs> I know nothing about Croatia. I didn't even know that was an actual place. I thought it was just like a fairy tale. Today, is prostitution legal in Croatia? That guy used to come in your Zoom all the time that was from Croatia. I don't know if that's Marcus or not, but that that guy. We had a girl that used to come in Zoom that, used, that stuck a Jack Daniels bottle inside of her. So the people that came in Zoom, we kind of didn't really pay attention to because... He had an accent. You know how many people with an accent came in Zoom? Chuck's got an accent. He's a fucking hillbilly. You can barely understand Chuck. He talks in that redneck sling, uh, lingo. You gotta call that liquor store and tell them the rest of that beer they have, <laughs> keep it. I don't know. It's I might do something. Then... What happened? It's 8 o'clock. Oh, is it 8 o'clock? I think I'll, yeah, I think I'm going to hang out and Zoom tonight. All right, cool. As long as you're not here with us in Zoom, because... No, I definitely will not be. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so if anyone's bored want to hang out and Zoom tonight, we're going to hang out and Zoom. I don't, we're probably not going to do it live, so that way we could talk shit and be racist and everything else, but... Um, did I say that out loud? Angela, I mean, I does having a stomach surgery change everything about what you can eat? In the grand scheme of things, no. Little things it does. Like, um, it, like I can't For have the first year, probably. In, right, yeah. For the first year, you have to kind of change kind of how you're eating. Um, but I can eat chips. I can eat basically whatever I want in little amounts. Like, I can have a couple pieces of, like, not for the first year candy. or maybe two. Like, you know, but the fun size, like little pieces. Like, you couldn't eat lettuce 
for like yeah. the first year. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't eat lettuce. It felt like I was eating glass. So it was little things here and there. And it's but... it's not even the surgery part that sounds hard. It's the the what you got to do before the surgery. You got to be on a liquid diet for what two weeks. Yeah. That's got to be impossible. It was. It's not. It's like a half liquid diet. You have to be on a no sugar diet, slash liquid diet. So you can have like uh, cottage cheese and things like that, but you it can't have sugar in it. And I I'm not a cottage cheese person, so that was a no go for me. What's up, Steve? That wasn't a, a, a like a racist salute. <laughs> it would just say, "What's up, Steve?" A few likes and two hundred people. Uh, we got 200,000 people watching. Where are you at? What's going on, sugar tits? Um, yeah, we're, I'm going to go on Zoom. All right, do you want me to heat you up your uh, chicken? No, because I'm going to drink more beer. Okay. And food will slow me down. All righty. All right, well, we're going to cut this at the hour. And if you guys want to come hang out. No, forget it. Okay, good. <clears throat> If you're gonna, if you need a kiss, just do it now. No, All right. forget it. I don't need one from you. Can you carry the chair up? Nope. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Can I get you gotta get your chair out of here? Your dog out of here? I can get the dog. You can carry the chair up. Man, I'm tired of carrying this goddamn chair. It gives well, me I get a hemorrhoid. Out. Don't be touching my shit. I'm not, nobody's touching your shit. You better go. You better fucking call an Uber and get the rest of that beer at the liquor store because there's gonna be a fight tonight. Anyways, folks. Well, uh, Thank you all for hanging out, and if you have absolutely no life, then come hang out and Zoom tonight. Uh, we're not going to go live. I don't think we will, but we can still get drunk and get naked. Thank you. Merry Christmas. We might go live uh, Saturday or Sunday for St. Patrick's Day, because I'm, I'm going to attempt to grill a uh, corned beef, and it's probably going to fail, so... <laughs> I don't think you can grill those things. Well, maybe you can, but... Anywho, god damn, it's just... If you can find that beer, buy it. Even if you don't drink, just buy it, because you'll like it. <laughs> Even if you don't drink, just buy it. Come here, Bubba. Oh, uh, I gotta find my mouse. I gotta fucking... Hold on, wait, let's... Let Roger say hi to everybody. Oh, man. Everyone left. Nobody left. Uh, Roger's like, get me the fuck out of here. Hold on. God, everyone... No, ain't nobody here, man. Say hi to Bubba. Yeah. He's like, fucking kill me now. Hi. Why am I here? Say hi. I'm going to get stuck with, always with the retarded dogs. If you buy a dog, don't ever buy a full bred dog. Never, ever, 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 ever. Ever. And don't fuck. Oh, 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 what happened? I broke something. There we go. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> Good night. Merry Christmas. And find that beer. If you can't find it, well then, I don't know. God damn. God damn. That might actually be better than, uh, nah, you know what? I'm not going to say that because it may come across as, I don't know. Good night. We're going to Zoom. See ya. Bye.